Witness protection. Sounds exciting. Yeah, right. Why do you keep doing that? Because it's not time yet. It's not time for the sofa lamp to go off yet? That's what I said. It doesn't go off for exactly 34 minutes. <clears throat> is that what this is? For what? Because we're supposed to be living like a normal family. There are certain things that need to be monitored so that anyone outside this house does not get suspicious. So, I've calculated what time all the lights should go on and off. One scheduled for the weekdays, another scheduled for the weekends. Don't you think the neighbors have more to do than to count our lights? You know how sometimes it's a small, small world? After all. Okay. Now suppose there's a guy who's working for the Mafia, and he's looking for us. And he just happens to take a break. Go see his old girlfriend or, or somebody we don't even know. And that somebody just happens to live here in this neighborhood. Yeah? Look, if you can't understand that we can't take any chances, well, then you would never make a good cop. And it's a good thing you're not one, too. Well, if that's what it takes to be one, actually, I'd be one. But I think not. Well, you're certainly entitled to your opinion. <sighs> Twisted logic makes trust a game, a mindless maze that's quite insane getting tired of banging our heads upon the wall. So you've been talking all morning about your mom. What about your dad? Oh, you know the captain. He's always fine. He's like Superman. Never sick. Always happy. And he's damn smart. Yeah. You know, I envy your family. Three generations of cops. And your brother's a damn good cop. Must be like being part of some great Super Bowl team or something, eh? You just feel lucky. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it... It just doesn't feel right. I mean, why would I feel like that? I mean, it should be great. I don't know, sometimes this job just gets to me. Yeah, it gets to us all. I mean, I have a good home, kids. My wife loves me, but she thinks because I'm always working that I don't love her. She doesn't understand that a man's job is his job. A man's woman is his love. I mean, it's not like I'm messing around with another woman. That's true. So why is she always on my case? In the old days, the woman wanted a man to work. Now, they want us to be different, sensitive. Well, not too sensitive, because then that'll turn them on. Come on, Ned. It, it's not that bad. She loves you, man. You love her, right? Yeah, I love her. Well, you gotta suck it up a bit. I mean, sometimes sucking it up is a better way of showing it than, than bringing home a dozen roses. Yeah, I do suck it up all the time. Yeah, but you can't hold on to it. You gotta let it go, too. Otherwise, the little shit just gets way too significant. What you need is a philosophical perspective, some objectivity to lighten your load. I mean, it's not like any of us need any extra pressure. Um. Blame me for you, I blame you for me. Soul destruction. Won't you water my pain? You tell me you're the one making the deal. Oh, you really something. I don't totally blame you, though. I do look like this. Oh, and I like red lipstick, too. You ever have a girlfriend who wear a sexy skirt? Yeah, that's different. She... It's different because she doesn't look like this? No. Oh, yeah. this is all totally ridiculous. There ain't no deal, except I'm the one who's going to have to live my life in another state, under another name, not seeing my relatives or my friends, and I don't know how I got here. I'm an accountant, and I do good work, and I get raises, and I own my own condo, and everything was going great. What happened? I made a mistake. It took two months to find it and correct it. Those two months, I kept seeing all these entries for regular deposits, followed by regular checks. And one name I never saw before. I mean, I might have logged them in before, but I never saw them before. And I'm thinking, this is strange, like a twilight zone, and I can't stop thinking about it. 
anyway, I did forget about it until they questioned me. Two years later, and I still remember the exact numbers, the exact dates, the exact amounts, of the, well, most of them anyway. So this, this is the information that completes the case. And if I testify, they say the father of the Caruso family will go to jail. And everybody knows he's the one who's killing. He's the one who's running the drugs. And he's the worst kind of man there is. Don't you have any manners? I don't believe you. Me? Yeah, even taking a shit is an organized process. You could certainly learn from it. I know I locked that door. Well, I don't think so, Mr. Anal. Why don't you add that to your list? Let's see, 955, take shit. I know that I locked this door. Oops, I mean 954. Check to make sure the bathroom door is locked. What's this? Toilet flusher protector. How cute, Chris. Why don't you market this in different colors, you know? Pastel blue, squeezy soft plastic. Okay, okay. I admit I go a little bit too far sometimes. Yeah, a bit. But, but you don't know what germs might be left behind. You can't count on everyone else to keep a bathroom germ-free. Oh, whatever the case may be, you, on the other hand, you don't go far enough. You can certainly stand some organizational skills. Maybe then at least your, your time schedule would be more accurately met. I don't see what me being late once in a while has anything remotely to do with this bathroom obsession of yours. I'm not late because I'm an organized, don't give me that. I'm late because of my girlfriend. Or because of another assignment that gets in the way. Not because I don't know what's happening at what time. See? There it is. Locked. I knew I locked it. That damn thing must have just slipped. Hey, it's working. You can open up now. Hey, come on. Hold on. I'm taking a shit. Seeds of aggression water the wounds. Subtle growth gapes the foundation. Self-denial scars. Why? Do you want to do something to the man that did it to you? Do you want to kill him? I would have. Would you? I can't. He died before I could kill him. And I never knew how he felt about what he did to me. Just once. I wish I could look him in the eye. And ask him why. Was it real? Don't you regret it? Or do you, do you just have to block it out like I have to? So you don't have to face the pain. Bones? No, Bones wants to play. Well, what then, Miss Albright, would you like to play? How about talking? Okay, about what? Truth or dare. Just like when we were kids, except without the dare. Well, there's questions going around the room, starting with me, and I'll ask you first. Why do you want to be a police officer? I never gave it much thought. I mean, my whole family are cops. So I'm, I'm a cop. So, did you join Your one me? turn is up. Okay, Mr. Hypoglycemic. Do you need some food right now? Shut up, no. Okay, Sally. How many men have you slept with? Uh, I don't think that's a good first question. I was thinking maybe if we... That's a 
Okay, it's my game. Fair question. Typical, but fair question. Four. Right. This is truth, not dare. Four. Why is it so hard to believe she only slept with four guys? Compared to you, she's practically a saint. How long do you think you'll be a cop? I don't know. Why ask that? Because you're the only one who doesn't seem like a cop to me. Why, because I have long hair? Can we switch directions a turn or two? A flower blooms over the branches, makes life unknown. This blossom reveals its thorn. Look, I know this is tough. Shit, it's probably even close to hell, but this is the time when you feel the most pain. Dig in and hold on to that, that feeling that gave you the strength to do this. It wasn't me. I was forced to. I had no choice. Sure, that may be the way you feel right now. But before you ever met us, you did have a choice. And you chose what most people wouldn't have the strength to do. When this is all over, Sally, you'll look at yourself in the mirror. And lipstick or not, you'll like what you see. And I'll look at lipstick, especially bright red. And remember the most courageous bimbo I've ever witnessed. What are you trying to say? You think I'm a whore? No, not at all. Well, then what? All I'm saying is you've gone out with all these guys. They can't all be assholes. Well, that's easy for you to say. No, I think it's easy for you. What about Tim? Asshole. What about Neil? Look, all I'm saying is I don't have the greatest track record. But after going out with a few screwed up women, I know... No, what? I'm one of them? No. Well, then what? Look, why don't you just say it already? What? What? Look, I just want to ask you one question. And don't even think about it, all right? Just answer. Fine. Honestly. All right already. What? Have you ever been... Great. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah. But it was a long time ago. Oh, I get it. You're just trying to say that all my relationships with men are fucked up because poor little old me was great when I was a girl. And, and now I take it out on every man I see? Not exactly. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. But it hasn't affected me. I mean, my career, I'm fine. I, I know Neil was good. I know I didn't trust him. And I'm not like that. He loved me. He really loved me. You're, you're way out of line this time, Eddie. Where's your wife, huh? How come things didn't work out for you? Think you know everything. You know what? You're just as fucked up as everyone else. My ex-wife is having coffee tomorrow morning with my ex-girlfriend.
Mirror, mirror on the wall. I wish people could see through it all. Getting tired of banging our heads upon the wall.